Hello everyone, hope you're well. So I'm here to film a haul video. I recently went to New York and I've been back for like two and a bit weeks now, but I just haven't had a chance to film. I've been working, working, working as per usual. So excuse me for the complete lack of videos, but I spent a lot of money. Like basically anything that I've watched in the last five years of YouTube that I've wanted from Sephora, I pretty much got which is bad. So I didn't really buy that many clothes. The only place that I really bought clothes from was Victoria's Secret. I got myself some tracky bottoms and things like that and underwear, but um, I didn't really buy any clothes. The only time I bought clothes was in Zara because I didn't bring enough winter stuff and it was cold for two of the days that I went. So um, yeah, that's the only real things I bought. So I'm not really gonna show them to you. The only thing I'm gonna show you guys in this video are two pairs of sunglasses, one that I bought before the trip but I just really wanna share with you that's inexpensive, an expensive pair of sunglasses that I've wanted for ages, and then all the makeup. Like, brace yourself for the makeup, guys, because it's, it's a lot. So the first inexpensive pair of sunglasses that I actually bought to wear like on the trip that I didn't, wouldn't really care too much if I got lost or etc etc are a pair from Topshop and Topshop does cute little like sunglass holders so they're good to just tuck in your bag and I've seen a pair of velvet sunglasses that Lisa Lisa D1 has and they're so cool but I never thought that a high street brand would do them so I got these velvet look sunglasses from Topshop with the really on trend metal bar at the top. The sides are not velvet, which I kind of wish they were, but I didn't really care. But the front are, and how cool are those? So they just have like a little bit of texture that's a little bit interesting and draws the attention to the eye. Now that I have like black hair, I try not to wear like black sunglasses too much, but the texture, I still think it works, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, super duper cool. I'll link these down below, they have them in other colours as well, but I, I just got the black, and yeah. Also, this is going to be chatty, I don't know if you guys figured that out already. My hair is super frizzy because I've run out of my, I've run out of my hair oil, and I've got another one, and it's pants, so just try not to um, bear that in mind too much. And also it's freshly washed, so it's like extra, extra fluffy. This is where all the makeup is. I put it in this top shop bag because that's how much stuff there is, it's insane. So next up is my splurge accessory item. And I wanted these, I've seen them on Instagram on a few people, but I was completely and utterly drawn to them when I saw Mel Soldera um, here on YouTube, got them. And I love her style, she's from Canada, and I just, I really love her. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I found these, I need them. I don't know what they're called, um, I'd have to find like what they're called. This is the box. And it's just a box that says Dior on the sides. Super cute. It's not the most practical of cases because I probably wouldn't keep them like um, just in here because they'd get ruined. But I don't know what the name of them is. I got them from Bloomingdale's and these are them. And oh, like I said, it's all Mel's fault, but I love them so much. And I know that it's like winter here, but I still love wearing sunglasses. And it's these babies. Like on a scale of one to 10, like how cool are these? They had, you know, the ones that everyone has, the ones that are kind of metally on the sides. And I really liked those, but I just thought these are so utterly cool. I'm gonna see all the reflection of my lights. Let me try, they are there. How cool are those? And they are a tortoise shell kind of thing, like on there and on the sides, and they just say CD for Christian Dior. And yeah, I'll try and link these below. Like I said, I don't even know what the name of them is, but oh my God, like even on your head, they look so cool. And in New York, I literally got three people stopping me in the street saying like, your sunglasses are so cool. Because they're just, I don't know, they're still a little bit unstated, but it's the mirrored lens that makes them really cool. But um, I am really into, wearing high street clothes and then accessorizing with like expensive pieces that's just what i'm into at the moment i'm trying to think of what direction to go this in i'm so hating my hair right now it's like not even funny but don't you guys think it's grown so much i'm not complaining about that at all the way i'm trying to do this video is in like categories of stuff that i've bought because i literally went into sephora like six times on the way there because i'd remember something on the first day and then forget something on the next day and etc etc so this was on one of the like last days that i was there 
and I saw a video by Jacqueline Hill, whom I love. I only discovered her recently through the whole Becca shebang that she's done, but um, I now absolutely love her video. And she said that she got this, and it's the Marc Jacobs The Face 3 brush. And it looks like this, that's what the clean one's meant to look like. I've used mine so much, so mine is really dirty. But this is basically a foundation brush, and it's called the Buffing Foundation Brush. And I love this. These are expensive, like, quite expensive, but yeah. That then spurred me on to get this one. And I'm going to show you guys them in real life. And this is the Marc Jacobs The Bronze Brush. So that's the packaging. I actually got this when I got something else that I'm going to show you guys, but I'm just going to include it now. So that's a really big brush. I've kept boxes of these because I've been using the products and I didn't want to forget anything to show you. Then I got the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush, the face one, which looks like that. And it comes in like a little um, coffin, which is kind of weird, but cool. And I also got two MAC brushes. So in order, dun, 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 dun. this is the Marc Jacobs The Face 3 brush. As you can see, mine is covered in foundation because I'm real and I use this just now to do my makeup. I'm going to link everything that I got from Sephora um, down below because you can still order from Sephora internationally. You just have to pay a shitload of international shipping charges and stuff like that. But oh my god, this is so worth it. And there are some things in this haul that I would recommend so much and this is one of them. I love Marc Jacobs brushes. And then the second one I got is the bronzer brush. How gorgeous again is this brush? It is so soft this is what's like amazing about these brushes is they are so blimming soft and um if you just want to like treat yourself or you want some new brushes for christmas get the marc jacobs one the shade and light one from kat von d is really really soft i don't love this end as much as i love this end this end has become my highlighting end where i just pop on my highlighter i still use this but i don't love it as much i much prefer this end so if I was going to say splurge on a brush, spend a little bit extra on the Marc Jacobs brushes because they are better. And then at the airport I went to a MAC and I got two brushes. I really have been needing a lip brush. I don't know if this is a lip brush but I thought I would use it as that. And it's the MAC 211. And it's just a little weeny sort of synthetic brush that you can use to map out the shape of your lips. And I had like a big spiel about tax at the airport. They have a really like different system to what we have in the UK when I went there and they like take all the stuff you buy and they bring it to your gate so she was not gonna give me my tax off and it was just such a big thing but I managed to get it off but I was not happy um and then this is really dirty but I got the MAC 26, 286 brush and it's a dual fiber brush it's similar to the 224 two, by MAC but it's uh, more dense so I thought when I want to be a bit more uh, precise in my eyeshadow application, I can use this. So um, I just got those at the airport because it's things I've been wanting and they're a bit cheaper. Then um, I wanted this and I was actually going to buy this in the UK. Um, I love Becca. Becca's probably one of my favourite brands right now. And when I saw this palette, I was like, this is going to be my everyday palette. This is going to be the palette that I have in my makeup bag and use every single day for work and everything like that. And it's the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. So that's what it looks like. Mine has already been so used. And those are the shades. How beautiful are they? This is literally like anything and everything I need every single day. And my main two colours I use is this one here for all over my lid. And how much of a good dupe for uninterrupted is this? That's why I kind of wanted this because it's kind of like a slightly toned down interrupted that I'm wearing right now in my crease that I feel I can use for work every day, which is not too, too, too crazy. Like uninterrupted, sometimes you can really, really build it and it's beautiful, but this is a little bit more toned down. They are so buttery. That's that, that's that. And this, I love this shade, I need to use it. I don't know if they're like completely matte. Does anyone else do that thing where they just rub on their trousers? That's really bad, isn't it? But. Um, it's, I do that. I think they might either be satiny or like matte completely But if you're looking for like a warm neutrals palette, it's got two cool colors as well Which I don't I don't really use cool tones as much on me But if I wanted it, it's there then you need this in your life I don't, I don't remember how much it was you can get it on Sephora I'll leave both links or you can get it on cult beauty so they, they do another one which um Nick from pixie woo just used on in her tutorial 
and it's like the new, more neutral version of this. So um, I love Becca so, so much. I also got two mascaras whilst I was away because one is a old favorite of mine and it's the Makeup Forever uh, Smoky Lash. You guys know how much I love the Maybelline, the pink one. I forgot what it's called. If I remember, I'll write it here. But um, I do like trying new mascaras and this is just, like I said, just an old cult favorite. It looks like this. And the wand is a plasticky wand. No, it's not. Maybe it is. That's what it looks like. This gives you really gorgeous lashes. I don't have it on today, but I have been wearing it and I remember why, why I like it so much. There's now a Makeup Forever in Debenhams in Westfield, uh, Stratford, in case you guys want, want Makeup Forever. And then I also got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I am so disappointed with this. I actually tried this when I was um, in New York, like a couple of times. And I love the packaging. I love the way it makes my lashes look. The packaging is so cute, you guys. It's really quite heavy and weighty, but um, it's just really nice. This, you guys, like, I get really bad fall down with it. I love the shape of the brush. And like I said, I love the way it makes my lashes look. The brush is kind of a little bit slanted, which is really cool. But um, maybe I should try it here where it's less, well, I don't I say it's less windy. It's probably just as windy. But um, I love the way it makes my lashes look. The only thing is I get really bad fall down with it, which I don't get with any of my other mascaras. So that's why I was a little bit disappointed. But if you don't have problems with that normally and you want amazing lashes, do try it because it is a really good mascara. I got the Kat Von D ink liner and I doubt I'm going to be going back to anything else. It's amazing. They do one that's like, um, apparently like felt tip, like this is the felt tippy one. And then they do one which is like more of a brush on, which I didn't really know but I got the felt tippy one just because that's what I like when I do my lashes. That's what I've got on today. And the good thing is now when I spray my Zera Zinc on my face, this doesn't smudge. So yeah, that's the tip of it. I have the Stila one. Um, I don't like the Stila one as much. This is much more precise and I feel like I can get a really sharp point with it, which I really like. Another eyeshadow that I need to show you guys, I got the Stila. I've really wanted these for so long. I don't wear eyeshadow like this anymore as much, but I thought if I'm ever doing like a sparkly look or I'm going out somewhere special, it would be really nice to have. And it's the Stila Comex Copper Magnificent, Magnificent Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow. But it comes with a little primer, you guys. And I came back to the UK and I noticed that that primer has spilt all over the eyeshadow and there's no more primer left. So you're meant to get primer, you've got a little lid, to mix the shadow and the primer together, but I have no primer left, so I'm just gonna have to use normal, like, water. So mine is all greasy and disgusting. I need to clean it. Um, but this is the shadow. Ugh. That's the shadow. You can get these in the UK, but I thought it'd be a little bit cheaper there. And it's just a gorgeous foiled bronze look. Like I said, I don't use these colors as much as, like, when I was blonde but they didn't have like any burgundy-ish colors, so I just I just got that one, and I'm really pissed off about that. I'm just gonna chuck that away after this video because it's it annoys me every time I see it. But um, yeah, that was like a cool little thing to add to my collection. I'm leaving highlighters right to the end, guys, because I literally can't get over how excited I am. Okay, I got, I think, four lip colors. Again, I got one I got two at the airport, one when I was going and then one when I was coming back. Um, the first one is Mare, and if you're wondering about the lip combination that I'm wearing, it's actually what I'm wearing now with a lip liner I'm gonna show you guys. This is so beautiful. Um, I have all like quite a lot of them at like nudie, pinky kind of colors. And this one I feel like is a bit more moisturizing than all of them. So if you don't like the matte MAC lipsticks, but you really like this colour, try this one because mine is super creamy. It does not feel like my other ones. And this is the colour. It matches my nail polishes like to a T. Um, I have to be honest, I've tried so many matte lipsticks and MAC do my favourites. They're drying on me, but they're not overly drying. Um, I love the colours. I love their lip liners to match with them. Um, they are still my favourite. So yeah, this is Mare. Just super gorgeous. And if you guys are wondering about my nails, they are, they're shellac and they are um, acrylics. I've gone way longer 
Um, I, I got them done for my trip, so they're really grown out now. I'm actually going to go get them done now, but oh my god, I love long nails. I'm in this like weird phase. I don't even know what my style is anymore. I just wear what I like and I really don't care, <laughs> which is not a bad way to be. And then I got the MAC lip liner to go with it, with Mare, in Saw, which is like, you can't find it anywhere. And it's um, what I've got on now. And it's literally the exact same colour. So if you like my lip combo, I will link them down below. Um, but you need, you need them in your life. If you like Whirl, but you want something more pinky, then that's what this is. So yeah, I'm trying to be really fast, guys, because I don't want to be here for so long. I'm talking so fast. Another thing I got from Marc Jacobs, I got a bronzer for my mum from them, so I might steal it every now and again and try it, but I got my mum the really big Marc Jacobs bronzer, um, but I'm not going to show it to you guys because I don't want to go through her stuff. But I got their lip liner. I got this on a whim. I haven't seen anyone speaking about it or anything. I just sort of wanted it. I love the Marc Jacobs packaging. I think it's gorgeous. And it's this. And it's one of those um, rolly ones. And this is in Nudist. And this colour, you guys, is like the perfect overdraw your lips colour. Um, they're really soft, which again, I quite like a hard lip pencil because I feel like I can get a really sharp line like I have today. But um, I don't really mind. This still looks like gorgeous and stuff. And it's not as soft as the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I find Charlotte Tilbury lip liners quite hard to work with, even though I love the colours. I'm speaking so fast. But yeah, if you guys love lip liners, that's a good one to get. Okay, and then the last lip product that I got, not the last makeup, I know I got so much stuff, is again, I saw this on a whim, but I thought it was so beautiful. And this is so the kind of thing that I wear to work because I don't really wear like these kind of lip colours because I think I look a bit made up. I don't know, I can't explain it and I don't want to get it all over my teeth and reapplying and all that jazz. So um, I tend to wear like lip balmy things. So this is one of the Burberry First Kisses. I can't see it. How beautiful is that packaging? They had Burberry in a couple of Sephora's, not all of them. And I know I can get this in the UK, but I was there and I just thought I'll just get it. Might even be cheaper here to be fair. And this is in Soft Peach, and it's a beautiful, just your lips, like, makes your lips a tiny bit nuder, and it's just glossy. And it reminds me of my Clarins Instant Natural Lip Perfectors, because it's not overly sticky in, like, a horrible way, and I can get, I can wear it to work, and it wears off really nicely. So, so if you know me, you know that, like, everything breaks me out, so I have to be really selective with what I try. And there was, like, a million and one contour palettes and foundations I wanted to try, but I just thought... I don't, I just, I don't know, I don't, I can't really risk it, I like my routine, just go with it and be simple and you'll be fine, but one thing that I just really, really wanted was the Cover FX Contour Kit, which looks like this, it's the cream contour kit, I got the colour in light medium just because I'm a novice, no, novice, novel, novice, novel, I don't know, new, I'm new at cream contour, and it comes with like a little um, chart of how to cream contour. You guys will be able to tell that I've used the colours. And I have to be honest, which is going to really upset me, this does break me out. But if I don't use it every day, I can get away with like using it once a week. And then um, my skin recovers itself and doesn't fully break out. But I did notice little red bumps. Um, especially I've got a little spot on my chin where I put some of the the nudie colour on to just brighten so it does break me out but I'm going to use it every now and again because I just really like it even the highlighter is really really pretty as you guys can see there like how lovely is that um and I got the like I said I got the slightly lighter kit just because I just thought I would set this with a powder contour anyway because I just really like that kind of look but yeah, if you guys don't break out from stuff, this is so something I would get. I really, really like it. Um, like it blends really well and it's it says it's paraben fragrance, gluten, mineral oil, talc free, but my skin is just so, so, so sensitive to everything. This is what was suckering me into everything um, when I was there, is you know when you go to the tills, they have the little mini sample sizes of everything. So, um, I've been wanting to try this for so long, and I've had so many mixed reviews about it, but again, I'm so funny with my concealers that I never, like, took the plunge. And it's the NARS Creamy Concealer in, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Yeah, I got Custard. And these are so cute. When I show you guys, these are going to be like, oh my god. 
I think they had two shades at the counters. They had like the mini ones. They had um, this one and a lighter one. I'm so glad I can finally throw it away um, packaging. And this is a medium one. And if you guys see my skin tone, it works perfectly fine when I'm both pale, like more pale and when I'm tanned like I am today, even though you cannot tell, but I am so fake tanned um, because of my lights. And look how itty bitty and cute this is. Like how sweet look in comparison to my hand. And I really like this. The only thing is I don't wear it on a full day of work because it wears a little bit, like it creases slightly more than my um, collection, which I don't have to set my collection concealer, but I do set this. And I'm gonna show you guys what I set this with, but I still really like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, great coverage, creamy, but not like, it's creamy, but not in a, too creamy way. Um, if you set it, it stays like a good six hours. So I've set it today and I've not creased from what I can tell. And I really like it. So I don't know if I'd repurchase it, but I'm definitely going to be enjoying finishing it up. And then I also got this. This was like a little bit of um, an impulse purchase because I have this already, but it's one of the dip brow pomades from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was like, I don't know, I thought I'd get more from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I don't know, they don't sell any of the eyeshadows and stuff like that, I think it's just on her website, but as you guys can tell, my hair is super dark nowadays, and I was using the colour in medium brown, but I was finding every now and again in photos and stuff, it was a little bit light, so I got the colour in ebony, and you guys will have to go on to look at like my other videos and see which colour, oh my god, my hair is so gross, which colour looks better on me but it is darker like it matches the darkness I think a little bit better and this is the color it's still a very very dark brown but medium brown is a little bit lighter so um, I just use whatever I ever have in the lid and I've been using just this since I got it and I love it I might give the medium brown to my sister because she's got um her hair is dark but it's like mine looks black which is not meant to be black but I yeah, basically my hair is darker than my sister's at the moment, so I might give her that. I've got three face masks. I got one when I was there, used it, um, and then I kept these, and I've, I haven't used them because I wanted to show, show you them. So um, the only brand, skincare brand, that I really wanted to try, because again, I've got the whole sensitive skin spiel going on, is Boschia. I think that's how you say it. So I got myself two of the Sake, Sake, so, you know that drink. Uh, brightening hydrogel mask and I think Estee did like a video showing you guys how like showing how to use them but they are essentially the ones that you they're two pieces like that and I just really like doing myself a face mask every now and again so these were like eight dollars each which is probably like five-ish pounds four-ish pounds and then I got the charcoal one which I thought um I didn't try this when I was there so I just bought one but if I like it I can always get more when I do another order. I just really like doing things like this because when you've been working all day and you come home, it's just nice to like vamp yourself up a little bit. This is another little sample thing that I got um, at the Tills and I've seen so many people using this and loving it and it's the La Vanilla, yeah, La Vanilla 100% um, natural deodorant and this is in Vanilla Snowberry. And this is just a mini one, again, something that I could easily pick up if I liked it. And it smells really, really nice. I kind of wish I got the coconut one, but um, I this was the mini one, and I just thought I'd get the mini one because I'm really fussy about my deodorants. And then um, I got this in the UK, but I wanted to show you guys anyway because I don't know when I will. But I tried this yesterday when I came home because I had no sleep, and I watched. Um, I don't know if you guys have, like are watching it as well. Um, I was watching a program on Netflix called Rain and it's all about Mary Queen of Scots. I've not heard anyone speak about it but my mum found it and we were watching it yesterday and I popped this on whilst we were watching it and it's the Clinique Overnight Surge Mask and it's just one of those masks that you don't wash off, you just keep it on overnight and I actually don't love Clinique for all of their skincare but I love their masks and their cleanser the um, take the day off, it's like my holy grail. I would try this and I love the packaging of it. I think it was quite expensive. I think it was 30 pounds, but I gave it a go yesterday. I really liked the way it made my skin feel. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. And if you guys have tried it, let me know. From Sephora, we're going back to the US again. I got some stuff from Boschia, like I said. Boschia, Boschia. Um, one of the things I got this really drew my attention is the Saki 
effect on her sake, sake water. And it's um, basically just for brightening and you're meant to pump it once or twice into your hand and then like press it into your skin. And I love stuff like this because I think they really sink into your skin. And I actually have seen a difference whenever I use it. I just really have enjoyed it. I've only been back about two and a half weeks and that's how much I've used. So it does kind of last, but um, yeah, I really enjoy this. I used this before a serum, before any moisturizer and I really, really like it. The Boschia Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I think Lorraine from The Current Custom, um, oh my god, mine is so gross, um, spoke about this, or someone has spoken about this, and I've been loving it. Um, funnily enough, I didn't realise this, but it's got a very mentholy smell, and I, like I, everyone knows, I don't agree with things that smell normally, but this doesn't break me out. You guys have seen how much I'm using, like I've gone through. Um, it just basically just melts away your makeup, and then I can go on to my cleansers, I don't know if I would repurchase it. I feel like it's a nice product to just kind of like, I don't know, like leave at your boyfriends and stuff or, you know, leave if you if you travel a lot just to have um, in your traveling kits and stuff because it's quite easy to use, but I don't know if it's like groundbreaking. Two perfumes when I was there. Um, I'm actually a little bit upset because I feel like I should have got more rollerballs, but I was thinking it like it's silly too. So hopefully if I ever go back, um, or if I ever know someone who's going, I'll get them to get me more rollables. But I thought this is one that I like to chuck in my bag all the time for work. So I got myself a Chloe rollable. There we go. So this is just the original Chloe. I got my mum the Narciso Rodriguez, the pink one, and I got my sister Flower Bomb as a rollable. But they're such a good way of trialing perfumes if you don't want to spend like loads of money. I don't know why we don't do these in the UK. It, it's still like, I don't understand in my head how the UK doesn't have Sephora. Like I try and understand that in my head and I just don't understand. We used to have it, we used to have it in Brent Cross. A cousin of mine even worked in there. And then all of a sudden when I came of age of wearing makeup, there was no more Sephora. It's just really sad, um, but I don't know what's going on. I'm going to Italy in December, the beginning of December. So I'm gonna try, I don't even think they do these in Italy, but I'm gonna try and see if they do. So, um, well, because, well, in my town anyway, because it's a small town, I don't know if the Sephora does them, but um, yeah, so I got that, and then I got this, and I'm really sad because I wish I got the bigger bottle, but oh my god, my boyfriend smelt this, and he was like, this is amazing, and it's Tom Ford Noir, and I don't know if this is like the femme, like the woman version, yeah, it says Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme, um, Eau de Parfum, and it is so gorgeous, that's the bottle. The bigger bottles just look so much cooler, like I should have, I didn't really realise it was going to be this small, but oh my god, this is like my new Alien, because it, it has that intensity that Alien by Thierry Mugler has, but it's like not a lot of people would wear it, and it smells divine. If you want to smell like really opulent, this is like super opulent in my opinion, um, but I love, love this fragrance. If, it's my first Tom Ford fragrance as well, so if there's any others that you guys think I should try, then let me know as well. I actually went to a drugstore. I think I went to Dwayne Reed. I don't remember. I only got three things, but I got myself some lashes and I've never seen these in the UK. And they're called the Kiss Lashes, but they're little bundles of individuals. And I just thought these were really cute. If I ever get the time to play around with makeup again, I really want to try these. And the US has just really cool lashes like all the time. I got this, which I've literally heard about for years, and I got a little sample size of it, and I do like it, although, like I said, my hair is just not doing things I like because I haven't had my serum, so I hope it's not this that's helping it be so frizzy, but um, it's it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and it's apparently meant to do 10 things. Every time I see it, it just really reminds me of YouTube videos because everyone used to talk about it. I've been loving shellac, so like ever since my trip, I, I'm gonna go probably get shellac again today, but I'm probably gonna go with a nude color. Um, even though you guys know this is like my signature nail color, this is like, just I love these pink colors for some reason. It's so weird, like I never would have said I do, but I love them. But um, you guys know how much I love Sally Hansen, and I got this color because I've never seen it here in the UK, and it's called Persuade. Cute name. And I love this color, it's so, so pretty. So if I ever get rid of my shellac, I'll definitely be trying them and I really like their gel formulas as well. It's like a more orangey brown salmon shade, if that makes sense. 
like if you overcook your salmon, that's what it looks like. Oh, I'm gonna whiz through these. I haven't even used this yet, but it's like a brush cleaner from Sephora. Just um, something that I thought whenever I'm using eyeshadow and if I'm going out and I need to clean my um, eye eyeshadow brushes, I can use that. And then lastly, but by no means leastly, I have highlighters and I have one, two, three, four highlighters. One of which I didn't get in the, um, when I was in the US because the launch of it was like when I came back, but I ordered it as soon as I could and I'll show you guys them. They might not come as any surprise. So I got the Becca Jacqueline Hill, obviously. Um, I got the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Powder in Indiscretion, which looks like that. I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, the, the three one, because I, I was gonna get the big one, but I probably wouldn't use the blushes. So I didn't get that one. I was being really practical, you guys. And then this suckered me in at the um, the checkout and it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, the liquid version. So I'm gonna start with this one. I love, love, love the pearl version. It's what I've got on today. It's what I layer on any of my more cool toned um, highlighters, like my pearly whitey ones, which is like what I've got on today. And this is just like the sort of goldy version. So that's what it looks like. And you guys, Oh, I can't get over how much I love Becca. That's what that looks like, and it's beautiful. And um, it's nice, because this is like, it's not as big as my, um, the other one, so if you are traveling and stuff, it'll be really good. If I'd have known, I only recently just got the pearl. If I'd have known they did like mini ones, I would have just waited and got them, but um, they did do a mini pearl one. So I got that. I haven't actually used it yet, because I do tend to wear more, um, like weirdly enough, I tend to wear more whitish, pearly highlighters. Then I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And I love this, this is so gorgeous. It has dim light, which is a neutral peach beige powder to blur imperfections and highlight the complexion, which is what I use to set underneath my eyes. Incandescent light, which is an opalescent pearl powder that brightens the complexion. And then radiant light, which is a golden beige powder that enhances the complexion, complexion with subtle warmth. I'm excited to try and use that with um, like over my bronzer. I think that would look really cool. The only thing is I've been using so many different things on my skin that I'm trying to be good and use them like spaced in between so I figure out if anything's breaking me out. So this is the shade that I use just as like a powder for underneath my eyes. That's a gorgeous highlighter and that's the more bronzy shade. So that's the more darkest shade. That's the pearly highlighter, and that's the um, the one I used to sit under my eyes. This still does have like a bit of shimmer, but it you guys can tell like it, my under eyes don't look shimmery. I love this. I love the packaging of it. They have the hourglass eyeshadows, which are like a swirl of a wave, which I was so tempted to get, but I don't really use eyeshadows, so I thought it'd be a waste. I got this because oh my god, I love Laura Mercier as well. Laura Mercier holds like a really special place in my heart because um. I discovered it through Lisa Lisa D1 and her love of the mineral powder. So when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, I have to have it. I've already wrecked mine a little bit because once you swirl your brush into it, it just stops looking as pretty. But still, how gorgeous is that? Um, this reminds me of um, Opal by Becca. It's kind of got a pinky hue to it. And that's the shade there. And see, like, I love layering a liquid with like a powder over it. You're not gonna tell a difference, but that's what I use like all the time. This is gorgeous. I'm so glad I got it. I think it's a, it's a Sephora exclusive, but um, yeah, I can finally throw away the packaging of those. I'm highlighter obsessed. And then lastly, um, I wanted this so bad and I ordered this with the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush and it's the Jaclyn Hill, um, what was it called? Champagne Glow Palette. I have to admit, the last shade in this I feel like is a little bit random. So the colors it has is Pearl, which I really basically just got this to have Pearl as a pressed powder, because it doesn't come as a pressed powder from what I know. Champagne Pop, which I already have in like the big pan, but still wanted it. And then Blushed Copper, which again, I doubt I'm gonna use because my problem areas are my cheeks and I feel like highlighting those with like a yeah, really like bright blush will look a bit strange, but that's the colors. 
So that's basically just what I wanted. So if I could have got like a big pan of just that, I would have, but it's not come out yet. If it does, I probably still would. And then I'd probably give this to my sister or something. But yeah, the shades are gorgeous. I've actually got pearl on today um, with the pearl, like pearl in the um, liquid form on as well. So that's that. It, it looks super white, but once you blend it out onto the skin, it just gives like the most prettiest glow. Then Champagne Pop, which everyone and their mum has as well. So you can see Champagne Pop is a lot um, warmer. And then the blush, which I don't know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You guys let me know. How would you guys use it? I don't know. It just scares me. It's too shimmery for me. Just way, way too shimmery. You could use it as an eyeshadow. Um, it looks kind of like Antiques by MAC as an eyeshadow or something, but I really wanted it. Like I said, I ordered it as soon as it came out. It took me about a week to get here. Took it about a week to get here, but um, yeah, and I do like the packaging and stuff. Like it is cute, but I love Jacqueline Hill. So um, yeah, I'm happy to support her as well. And I think that's it. Like I said, I did get um, like Victoria's Secret stuff, um, but I, that's it for like things that I'm gonna show you because I don't know, that's it. Um, but I hope you guys have all been doing really well. Um, I'm just busy as hell, as always. I'm shattered, I'm always knackered. Like I never used to be someone that used to complain about being tired, but I'm, I'm quite tired. Um, but yeah, I've got all that stuff to play with now properly. I can finally put it away. And um, yeah, let me know. I kind of gave you guys a little bit of like reviews on the stuff that I've tried, but my standout products are probably the Marc Jacobs brush, Cover Effects, um, the Cover Effects stuff, all the highlighters, because I can't pick a favorite, they're all different. And I like Boshia stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what else really. Those are probably the main things. The Marc Jacobs lip liner. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff in there. But um, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I'm gonna come back at you with, I've got a few video ideas, but um, yeah, just bear with me and I'll see you guys soon. Love you lots, take care. And I'll leave um, a link of like the stuff I'm wearing. I'm wearing my baggy, um, this is like the Topshop shirt, but it's like the baggy version, which I love, like I love like these shirts. And my little neck thing is from Zara. That's it, I'll see you guys all soon. Love you lots, take care.